Hi, I'm Lara Dean. At the close of each quarter, Sotheby's International Realty compiles a comprehensive report on the landscape of the San Francisco dynamic real estate market. Let's take a look at how Noe Valley and surrounding neighborhoods performed in the first quarter of 2023. The fall of 2022 was probably the slowest season we've had in years in San Francisco real estate. For anyone reading headlines at the end of last year, or looking at the sales that were taking place or not taking place in San Francisco at the end of 2022, people might have ideas of where things were headed in San Francisco. What I learned um, at the start of this year is really that properties in San Francisco still have a strong demand for buyers that live in the city or are relocating, and it's really nice to see. So despite the headlines that you might be reading, San Francisco market is strong as ever been, and perhaps it's not as intense for buyers looking, but properties that are prepared well, presented well, marketed well, are doing well, especially when they have great representation. At the end of Q1 2023, I had the pleasure of assisting clients listing 72 Dawn View, which is a beautiful mid-century modern property overlooking Glen Park Canyon. We had lots of activity. This was a really special property and a pleasure to work on. And we were fortunate to receive eight offers and selling the property for over 30% above the list price. I think our biggest challenge in Q1 2023 was really not knowing what was coming. With the end of 2022 ending so bumpy, uh, we weren't sure what to expect. In Q2 2023, what I've noticed so far is that buyers are out actively looking and it's really nice to see great activity at open houses and a much healthier market for buyers overall. Yeah.